Hey, Scotch Test Dummies. Boom. Russell's Reserve Tenure. Some cowboy hats. Testing it. Let's test it. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> We got us some rock and roll hats. Woo. These are like, uh, I bring it to mind like Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, I like yours. Jumping. Yours has got that little, and it's a Stetson. I like it. It's got those air holes in it. Gives we it got some a, depth. We got a lot coming up. These, we do. You got some new hats for the 12 hours yes. of boom. That's airing Saturday, July 8th, 2017. Ridiculous hats. If you're watching this after July 8th of 2017, you've, you've seen it. Oh, already seen the 12 hours exposed. of boom. 12 hours so, of boom is going to be interesting. Now, 12 hours. 12, 12 shows. 12 hours. De la boom. Yeah, Corner. several guests. Yes. Running from noon to midnight. Central. CST. CST. <laughs> now, do we have a Scotch God shout out? Real quick though, too. We also oh, yeah. have coming up soon, we will be airing um, a 16 blind bourbon shootout. This is one of them in there. We That's had right. not reviewed this one solo. We had to get her done. Right. Had to get her done. And it's going to be similar to when we did the Sweet 16 Rye Shootout. But Scott wanted a further depth of twist. It's going to be double blind. Yeah. In the Rye Shootout, we didn't know what four we had in front of it. I mean, well, we knew the four, but we didn't know which one was what. But we yeah. can be like, well, I think it's this, things. Like all 16 of these, we're not going to know. And you may have a different four than my four because they're going to be... Or no, we'll, no, no, no. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll right. hash yeah. that out for we'll sure. We'll see. But they're all blind. We don't know what they are. It'll they're be all, any it'll one, be like one of 16. Bottle, in front of bottle A. Yep. And then... Your A is strong. Stronger than my B. Yep. Mm. All right. By the way, I got coin 315. 320. Of course, they don't really work on the Northern. They don't. They'll fall right in. But I still, got it. I still going, got it. I still got it. Hey, look at this. Hold on. Oh, there's a little something. Watch it get wedged in there. Yeah. Oh, oh, if you there do you it go. wrong, it goes all the way in. Oh, what's up with that? that? How'd that happen? Huh. Maybe the, oh, the glass has a little indiscretion. Yes, it does. Know. Yes, it does. You got to be careful. You'll drop it all the way in. Ooh. Scotch God shout out. Shout it. Tom R. Go back to the ocean, Jefferson's Ocean cask strength. Because when you comment Voyage 10. on YouTube, you might make it on the show. You have a one in a million chance. Trillion. One million. <laughs> so who is this again? Tom R. Tom R. On the Jefferson's Ocean. Is that like A-R-G-H? Arg. Arg? No. <laughs> Tom R. A-R-E. Like. Okay. Got it. I have been tempted to buy a bottle of Voyage 10 cask strength, but I have been buying too many bottles mm. this year. He's avoiding temptation. Time to stop shopping and start sipping. Ooh. Oh my God, OMG, he says. That was my comment about Bart oh. embracing the oak. Oh, yes. But I was trying to be funny and in no way was trying to be mean. We did not think, I did not think Absolutely. it was mean. Absolutely, no. OMG. Yeah. <laughs> OMG. I, I, I really think it is great you know what you enjoy and mm. how you enjoy it. Right. I have embraced your neat to drops of water to ice cube process to tasting and exploring my drams. That should be like the Bart patented technique That's of right. bourbon tasting. You too inspire me to try new whiskeys and I never meant to be mean or offend you, Bart. I apologize if my comment came off harsh. Thick skin, not harsh. We used it in a comment. Yeah. Right. It was a yeah. he's basically we, gotten two Scotch God shout outs. We don't become no. easily offended. No. Matter of fact, we love the occasional in a future one you got well, an angry ranter that's gonna make it on to one of the Scotch yeah. God. Yeah. I forgot I've been that. waiting for that. Yeah, he's an eater. Anyway, not anyway, not though, R, this other guy. We did. We referenced Tom R, but I didn't right. know. We was like, and I said, uh, someone just commented about this. I should have looked it up to see who it oh, was. Oh, wasn't but it they, a full Scotch God shout no, out? No, no. Oh, that's right. It just came up in conversation. Yeah. And I said, and so he's saying, oh my God, that was me. That, that was him. It. And I didn't mean to offend you. But we yeah, didn't. We're, we're not yeah. easily offended. No, we loved it. I've Better. been called a, a few names oh, in our comments. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've learned to just put up with people that have hate and discontent yeah. in their lives. Yep. And those people, usually, they're their own personal hell. Haven't you found that out? Like they're Most just, of the time. Yeah, they're just, 
They're just... They're their own worst enemy. Yeah, they're hateful, and I'm just like, oh, and that really doesn't get me. I mean, I, it's not pleasant. Right. <laughs> but it doesn't really get me. So no, not offended at all. You've now made it on a Scotch God shout out. By all means, can speak freely. Put your comments out there. We got some folks that put tasting notes. Some just say first. <laughs> That's an interesting. First, we put up a video. Someone wants to be the first to comment, but they don't know what to say. And they, they just shout out first. What do you got on the nose? Ooh. First of all, Russell's Reserve 10 Year is labeled wow. a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Mm. Bottle at 45% ABV. Strong vanilla caramel. A really strong, great bourbon nose, which is what got me called a name one time yes, when I said it did. that. Oh, he describes bourbon as bourbon. Yeah, believe that. <laughs> well, you know, and what I mean is there's a kind of a traditional bourbon nose. I mean, vanilla, cinnamon, caramel. It's so, all there. It's really good. It's a good nose. So I get a lot of, of uh, it's, it's vanilla caramel, and it's almost that, it's almost that fake caramel that they at McDonald's put on soft serve ice cream sundae. Remember fake that? caramel? What do yeah. you mean? Well, it's, no, that's real. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. They melt the caramel cube before they, no, it yeah. comes out of a machine, <laughs> and I loved it, though. It's you got just, caramel flavoring. Now. Right. Caramel flavoring and corn syrup is <laughs> basically what it was. But it was delicious, and that's the nose I get here. Because at the end of those ice cream, McDonald's ice cream sundaes, you'd have the hard clump of caramel, fake caramel. Oh, yeah. And you just spoon it directly in your mouth. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. The direct spoon. Do they still have but, the peanut butter parfait? I have no idea. Okay. Sorry, I strayed. I don't... Uh... Even in my notes, that's what I have. Cinnamon, oak, caramel, vanilla. Mm. See, and I don't get a lot of oak here. I, I see it down below, though. Or I smell it down below. Ooh, that's a bad sentence. I apologize. <laughs> it's a delicious nose, though. Mm. I'm huh. just going to go ahead and... Huh. Mm. I've got the Norland's glass. kind of hangs mm. the liquid and suspends it. Ooh. You're gonna get you're gonna get some oak on the palate. You might not like. <laughs> Usual bourbon notes are there. It's it's got a good full flavor. It's ten years. Um, creamy, with time a little bit of a slight pepper and some rye yeah. will start to come out with it. Yeah, I get the pepper, strong mm -hmm. pepper for me, not slight. And the Norland's glass. I forgot how it dispenses the liquid mm. to the small far ends of your vermilion, and I over sipped. <laughs> I went to go in light, and it like rushed in. I forgot how it disperses it across your entire mouth line. Corn. I just got some corn alcohol. Yeah, yeah the finish I for me is definitely corn. What do you think of the oak? There is some oak in there. Is that too much oak for you? No. Because that's a perfect Scotch God shout out how I would complain about the, mm -hmm. the wood flavors. <laughs> no, this is good. You're like this. Sip. Oak, oak, <laughs> oak, oak. It's over oaked. There's oak in that one. Nope. Nope, not doing it. <laughs> I get a wood flavor, but I don't feel like it's predominant. No. I well, that was the, pepper in the, the first sip I took. Oak was the, really okay. the first first note that I got. A cream, buttercream finish. Still lingering, almost like a buttered popcorn. Hmm. And that's where that that corn that that corn mash bill grain hangs in there too, which is interesting. But it, it's very much like a buttered popcorn at the end for me. If I do my circular angry chipmunk, I can still get it. I can see. I can see buttered popcorn. Yeah, there. that's interesting. My my ten year old would love this. Illegal, illegal. But he loves buttered popcorn. I'll be like, "What'd you eat for lunch? Popcorn?" I'm like, mm -mm, "No, that doesn't count." <laughs> not unless you put some nacho cheese on it. <laughs> Maybe a butter bread. <laughs> Mm. It's good. It's decent. Nothing really outstanding or jumping out at you. It's a good bourbon. So you're saying it's status quo bourbon? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me add another drop of water. Just yeah, I didn't really notice. I, I already know. added one, and I don't notice. And even in my notes, I don't have any uh, difference noted from adding water. 
We still need a Scotch Test Dummy now, stainless steel straw. I'd buy it. That's you're on that one. Damn. Yeah, we do. That's a good. That's a good idea. You should get on that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I have ideas, and then I like say it should happen, and then I just talk about it. But Scott does. You're a doer. I finally get tired of the talk, and I got to take action. Or you'll find out there's a tech component. The, like if you found out there was a tech thing that made stainless steel straws, you'd be like, "Ooh, look at this! You got to use geometry and algebra." And I'd be like, "Yeah." Well, and then you'd do it. Now I, I come up with some ideas too, but I'll tell you, it's almost like the Steve Jobs wo woes uh, what was relationship. Woes the act, right? What You're the that? Steve Jobs on the woes. Okay. You come up with the ideas and make Damn. me do them. Woes is still, but you're right on that because woes was the tech guy. By the way, still alive. Uh -huh. Steve Jobs made it huge and big. Uh -huh. Steve would come up with the idea. We need this. Do it. Hmm. They were a good partnership, and they were very different. <laughs> That, that's not a bad, I'm, Jobs is a little bit hard to deal with though. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas everybody love woes and be like woes and you can just see him giving like bear hugs. Ah. And then Jobs is, you know, yelling at people. Uh, 87, good. Mmm. Mmm. Eighty-seven. Hmm. Now I'll tell you, this is old enough to. I like to... the buttered popcorn. I still get quite a bit of oak. I'm kind of surprised that's not turning you off. It's not. Um, where was I going? Oh, my notes. I don't have. It's been long enough ago since I bought this. I don't remember. I think price point is forty-five dollars. Hmm. Forty, forty-five dollars. That's a little high for a ten-year. Yeah. I mean, it's a good a good price for a 10-year. Yep, but... I do have it in here. $45. Mm. That's top end. What's the ABV? Uh, 45 It's really smooth, though. It's really smooth. I love the butter, creamy butter notes. And to me, I don't get an over-oakiness. They're describing on here in a bourbon that delivers a balance of rich, spicy vanilla flavors. I agree. I get the vanilla. Um, but that's what I'm digging is the, uh, those vanilla, those cream, and then that buttercorn finish. Mm. I, can, I like it. I like that. It's, to me, it doesn't seem like, I mean, there's some, there's wood tannin taste in there, but it doesn't feel like it's like not, musty old wood. Or it's anything. not over the edge yet. Right. And that's, that's, I mean, I've stated it. Those heavily oaked ones are the ones that some people love. I don't. I mean, they're okay, but. But this is solid. This is good. Okay. Mm. Let's do our traveling dummy. Hashtag mm. traveling dummies. Right. Don McClure, also on Twitter known as the walleye killer. Wow. I think that means he fishes. It does, I believe. I don't know what else unless he's just a killer. <laughs> yeah. Now stone, we're, we're, he's, he's a, a stone, stone cold killer. killer. He just gives you the walleye. The, the walleye so, killer. You, you see the walleye. That's it. Night lights out. You're about to die. <laughs> it was like uh, No Country for Old Men where he'd flip the coin. So how I pictured he'd just kill. He sent us a few pictures yeah. on one trip. We'll just start. We'll show you real quick from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the Walla Walla District. Maybe he was at the McNary Lock and Dam. Right. Now, I love Walla Walla. Walla Walla. I just I like saying for that. that one. Yeah. Yeah, you got to see it. Walla, Walla Walla. And it's a heck of a monument. It's a monument to that public works. Same trip. Next trip, he's uh, got a picture. He's holding the coin out. You can see kind of a, a pasture, a valley yes. leading up to some mountains. And on the far left, you got Mount Rainier. Mm -hmm. And on the far right, you got, uh, or no, wait, Mount, uh, sorry, Mount Adams is mm -hmm. on the left. Mount Rainier is on the right. Now you this can see is him in the background. Until you blew this one up. I was like, oh, it's pasture land. What's he showing? And then I yep. know in his in his narrative comments, he describes it. But then you blew it up on the screen. And I was like, ooh, that is cool. You're and right in between both. And something's in the middle. Looks like coin 141 or 161. It's kind of out of focus. Mm. Can't tell. I would rather have the scenery in focus, though. Yes, I agree. Let's see if I can see in any of his others. Because we can tell it's the dummies. 
Still looks like 141. Yeah. The third picture is from. Are you putting the third one up? Yep. Damn. No. Yeah, we got Do plenty. We got Do some. It. We had some. Keep uh, sending them in, in, though. We talked about holding this one. Oh, he says it. Mute. He's got hashtag coin 161. There you go, 161. So uh, this one's a wood sign. Will Coleman. Hmm. Leavenworth. In Leavenworth. But Will Coleman. Washington. The dummy has arrived in Leavenworth, Washington. To see, we have a Leavenworth, Kansas. And it has to be a heavy um, Dutch. It looks Dutch to me. Yeah. yeah. Even the writing looks Dutch Viking ish. <laughs> so, yeah, that's so that's bit. walleye underscore. But that's killer. what we're looking for. I still want someone. Come on, my German brethren. Brandenburg Gate. Mm. 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 Some things in Berlin I'd love to see. All right. That's it. Tune in to uh, make sure you watch 12 Hours of Boom. They'll be in 12 individual episodes. They'll be, uh, we're still trying to figure out how to number them. It may be season one, episode one. That's and then if thinking. we do another one down the road, it would be season two, episode one through 12. Right. Maybe there's a 24 Hours Ugh. of Boom in the works. Seems dangerous. We need to have like remote co-hosts coming in. Uh, Scotch Trooper or something because I need to sleep. Oh, yeah. From like midnight to six. Take turns. I need to sleep. We'd see. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. Dummies.